Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to show you how to divide complex numbers. Now, division of complex numbers is very, very different. It's not what you typically would expect to do some sort of longhand division. So stay tuned and see how to do that. First of all, you're going to write this actually as a fraction. So you can write this as minus 1 plus 5i divided by minus 4 minus 4i. And then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply both the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator of this, by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate of the denominator is the same thing except the second term changes sign. So you're going to multiply this times minus 4 plus 4i divided by minus 4 plus 4i. So that's called the conjugate of the denominator. The only thing that has changed is the sign of the second part of that number or the imaginary part of the number. There's a reason why we do that, because as you will see, when we now multiply the numerator together and we multiply the denominator together, the denominator will not have an imaginary part, and that's the whole idea. That's why we multiply the denominator by its conjugate. So let's do that. Let's multiply the numerator. So we have minus 1 times a minus 4, which is plus 4. A minus 1 times a 4i is a minus 4i. A 5i times a minus 4 is a minus 20i. And a 5i times a 4i is a plus 20i. And now we, do, now we multiply the denominators together and see what happens. So we have a minus 4 times a minus 4, which is a plus 16. A minus 4 times a 4i, which is a minus 16i. A minus 4i times a minus 4, which is a plus 16i. And a minus 4i times a plus 4i is a minus 16i squared. And then C, in the denominator, the minus 16i cancels out the plus 16i, and the imaginary part is gone, realizing, of course, that the i squared becomes a negative 1. So this cannot be written as, when we add the, uh, let's see here, uh, this should be, oh, I made a little mistake here. Uh, 5i times a 4i is actually 20i squared. I can't forget the i squared there. So now we're going to add the two middle terms together, and then this becomes a negative 1, so we have 4 minus 4i minus 20i is a minus 24i, and a 20i squared becomes a minus 20. In the denominator, we have 16, and of course, the i squared becomes negative 1, so that becomes plus 16. And now in the numerator, all we have to do is add the real parts together, so this is equal to 4 minus 20, or minus 24, minus 24, oh, no, no, that's not minus 24. It's a plus 4, minus 20 is a minus 16, minus 24i divided by 32. And then all we have to do here is divide 32 into the real and imaginary part of the numerator. But before we do that, we probably want to factor out whatever is common. So this can be written as, let's see, we can factor out a, a minus 4. So minus 4 times, uh, that would become a positive 4 plus 6i. Actually, we can factor out a minus 8. Let's do that. Factor out the biggest number we can. Minus 8 times, uh, that becomes 2 plus 3i, and the denominator is 32. And then you can see that um, 8 divided by 32 is really 1 fourth. So this is equal to minus 1 over 4 times 2 plus 3i. And then finally, you can multiply that in and write this as minus 2 over 4, which is 1 half, plus 3 over 4i. And that's the best way to write the final answer. You always want to write the final answer in terms of the real and the imaginary part of the number. Okay, so doing division is actually quite different. You first write it as a fraction, and then you multiply that fraction times the, the conjugate. You, write, you multiply the numerator and the denominator times the conjugate of the denominator with a real purpose of getting rid of the imaginary part of the denominator. When you multiply the denominators together and the numerators together, you realize that in the denominator, the imaginary part drops out, cancels out. Then you combine like terms in the numerator, you combine like terms in the denominator, and then you simplify this by factoring out whatever you can and writing it in its simplest form. Always the final answer should have a real and an imaginary part like that. All right. Hopefully that made sense. Now let's do a second one to kind of reinforce uh, the technique here. So again, the first thing you do is write it as a fraction, 2 minus 5i divided by minus 3 plus 4i. 
The next step then is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of the denominator is the same denominator, but with the middle sign or the sign of the second term, the imaginary part, changed. So this is minus 3 minus 4i. When we multiply these two together, we know the imaginary parts are going to drop out. Of course, we have to do the same to the numerator. Okay, multiplying the numerator, 2 times a minus 3 is a minus 6. 2 times a minus 4 is a minus 8i. Minus 5i times a minus 3 is a plus 15i. And a minus 5i times a minus 4 is a, or minus 4i is a plus 20i squared. Don't forget the squared. Divided by minus 3 times minus 3 is a positive 9. Minus 3 times a minus 4i is a positive 12i. 4i times a minus 3 is a minus 12i. And 4i times a negative 4i is a negative 16i squared. Notice again that the two i terms, or the two imaginary terms, drop out. Combining these two up here, so this is minus 6, that would be plus 7i, and i squared is negative 1, so this is minus 20, divided by 9. And i squared is a negative 1, so negative 1 times minus 16 is plus 16. Okay, minus 6 plus a negative 20 is a minus 26, plus 7i. So in the numerator, we combine the two real parts together. And here, that's divided by 25. And here you can see that we can't really factor anything out or simplify anything. So now we simply write it in its final form as minus 26 over 25, which is the real part of the answer, plus 7 over 25i as the imaginary part. And that's the division or the solution to our problem. Okay. Hopefully that helps you deal with complex numbers.